pace truck down off the track. Gary Davis with that flag in his hand. The pace picks up, and we are green for 100 laps at the Fairgrounds Speedway. Michael House with the charge down into turn one, way up the track. Schaffer's able to take the lead down off corner exit. Try to slam the door there on Fetcho. Fetcho finds the gap on the outside lane. Still wheel to wheel for the most part. They're back through three and four. House, not a great start. Schaffer loving to see that as they battle door to door behind him. Schaffer able to pull out to about a three car lead. We know Boone has a fast car still trying to get by and finally does to secure that sixth position. Yeah, he was looking for a way to clear and he very much has it cleared through three and four. The question now is if in the top three, either A, how are you going to hold your spot or B, find a way around. Schaffer's still holding a great march about three car lengths in front of Dylan Fetcho. You look back to Sutton, he's starting to go in and reel him in as well. Corey Deucer is due to find victory lane. He's sitting just inside that fast four. What a start for that four. Well, Dylan Fetcho is getting ready to be under fire here. That's the 26 of Dawson Sutton was closed on into the rear end of that war machine all the way back into one and two. That's about to be a dog fight for position. Sutton and the Rackley War Boys have been quick all week long so far, applying that speed as they work their way through three and four. Nonetheless, what comes to the 26 will come to the 89 soon, but at the end of the day, all three of them are still catching little by little the Shaffer machine that works its way back through. Sutton looking low on Fetcho. He'll have the inside line as they come down the stretch, door to door. Sutton to the inside. Oh! Sideways, Sutton saves it. How about and Wright? He's going to get the two for one here. Absolutely. Allows Hunter Wright to jump in there and fight for second. Fetcho now down to the inside, and Jackson Boone looks outside. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and take advantage of this right here. Fetcho was second. Now drops all the way back to the fourth place position. Hunter Wright, the two for one, says, see ya. He's going to bring that fight to the 12, but something's not done yet. He looks for the drive off corner exit, crosses the bow of the 89. They calm it all down again, but that could have been a disaster for your point leader. Well, here's the next thing you got to talk about. Okay, you're Hunter Wright. You got one. Now you got to go ahead and bring it to them because Sutton's still got speed back there in third and he's closing back in on that 29 machine you look at the lap times right now hunter Wright just a tenth quicker than bryson schaffer sutton two tenths quicker than your race leader so second and third has got the speed to go ahead and bring it to the driver top of the fourth but do you want a dog fight now knowing you got 70 laps to go because you gotta worry about tires that's a big slide out of the 89 to the 26 you gotta worry if this thing goes through absolutely when you get these cars these tires slide they will bald spot and wear down I think he's going to use one of these lap machines as a pick. He looks to the inside. He can see the 86 kind of just stuck in the way, and they all find their way back through. But Hunter Wright has one goal, take the lead and don't look back. He starts closing in on the 12 again down to the inside, nearly gets into the rear end. It all looks for a possible wheel-to-wheel, -wheel, but they single file out back to one and two. Hunter Wright hungry for that win as he looks low on Schaffer down the back stretch. Schaffer. Gives him just enough room for Hunter Wright to stick it in there. A little contact through three and four. Schaffer holding him off for now, but Hunter Wright will not give up. That's going to be tough. He could have fit a piece of paper between both those machines, and this has now allowed Sutton to close in. This has allowed Fetcho to close in. Can Hunter Wright clear? Not just yet. It's Schaffer on the outside. A big drive in for the 29. We'll park it in front of the 12. Says, thank you very much. New driver, top of the board. Well, they're going to go ahead and pass the lap machine. That's Boston Oliver. That puts it down to the inside of three and four. Here comes Sutton to the inside of Schaffer. Looks for the limbo down to the inside lane. It's all that big wheel to wheel looking down into one and two. Fetcho puts a nose under Sutton, and that Rackley machine will get the try back off corner exit. Fetcho used to being up front in these races and knows how to get there as he looks again to the low side of Sutton. Just a little squirrely, a little bit of contact. Sutton able to hang on. But Fetcho, right underneath, will take away that position. And here comes Jackson. Jackson Boo down to the inside, got one, and he's going to look for two. He finds his way around the 26. He puts a nose out in front of the 89. Fetcho under fire, the fusion on the outside. Boone on the bottom. Drag race back to line. Give it to the seven, maybe at the start. Finish line. Boone's not giving it. He's going to drive it in deep through one and two. Boone drives him up the hill just a little bit, and that's enough to get it done. Puts Fetcho back to fourth, so Jackson Boone up to third. So now it's right, Schaffer, Boone, Fetcho, 
and Sutton, your top five. And that's exactly what you want to see right under Hunter Wright. That's the battle for second. Moon will not be denied. He's going to go ahead and hold it on the inside lane. Schaffer continues to get that drive off. If you're Dylan Fetcho, you're watching this knowing, hey, I have a shot of possibly taking that second position. He will close in on Schaffer as Boone's able to clear. And just like that, the seven machine can start the path towards finding the leader. One round down to turn number two. That looks to be the driver out of Arizona. And that looks to go ahead and be Quinn Davis driving the number 12. Loops it in turn number two. John, what did you say? We get a caution. Got to watch out for these drivers that just save tires because that's the gift that they needed. Absolutely. Great start by Boone on the outside lane. Right down to the inside. Still hanging right with him. The question is, who's going to get the drive off corner exit? Right looks to clear. Boone on the outside. Still hanging right with him. The dog fight for the lead carries through three and four. Boone holding tight to that rear quarter panel. Now Hunter Wright able to clear him. Boone back to second. That's Fetcho. Doozer up for that fourth spot and relegating Schaffer back to fifth. Doozer would like to slam the door there on Schaffer. He's able to go ahead and do it now as they work their way down the back stretch. The Rackley boys line up back nose to tail. The question is, what's going to happen here for the lead? That's Boone looking to the inside. That's right holding on. Fetcho watching on, kind of just waiting in the wing to find a move or maybe a mistake out of the top two. How about another shot there for fifth? That's Schaffer in the 12. Still Zilich in the 25. They're going to bring it back. Wheel down through three and four. Maybe some slight contact as you could have fit a paper between both. The thing is, though, if you're Fetcho, if you're Zilich, do you think you're possibly running out of time to think about a win unless you get a caution because they have dropped back big time. Jackson Boone is right now in an area of opportunity to catch Hunter Wright. Hunter Wright, though, still very much holding on. Six, nine, eight, the difference still about the same as what it was two or three laps ago. Boone has dropped back to a one, three. Don't throw the towel in just yet because you never know what can happen in the next seven laps. The thing is, though, Zilich is now within half a car length. The Fetcho Sutton is on the back bumper, the 12 of Schaffer. Both these machines can very easily make up one more spot before that checkered flag goes. Still too far back with two laps to go. What a drive for all these machines tonight. The Rackley machine still giving it their all. You can see something still not done, but if you're Hunter Wright, you're loving it. Coming back to the white flag. Absolutely. Hunter Wright has ran a masterful race. Started seventh on this field. There is the white flag. He's got one more time around this high bank 5 8 mile track to bring this win home. Boone, meanwhile, nothing doing. Back there, about 12 car leads back as Hunter Wright works his way through three and four. Down the front stretch, Hunter Wright will pick up the win here at Nashville in this 100 lap pro late model event. Second will be Jackson Boone, Fetcho, Zilich, and Corey Dozier, your top five.